Vazirx NFT marketplace has undergone some changes recently and people have been asking questions about it. So let's dive right into it. I'm Varun and you're watching Victor Recite. The biggest change for new creators is the invite system. Now you have to get an invite to get creator access on the platform. Every creator gets 3 invites which they can use to invite new creators on the platform. The process for new creators is a bit different. You have to connect MetaMask and sign up on the platform as before but now you will not get an option to fill a creator form. Instead, you will have to get an invite from someone who is already a creator on the platform. So the big question is, how do you get an invite? First of all, you need to have a little portfolio. It can be as simple as 4 to 6 images showing what you can create and as complex as a website. Whichever works for you is fine. Next thing is how you can share it to the world. First option is to share it on Twitter and tell the community you are looking for an invite on the platform. People will reshare it or retweet it and if someone likes your work, they'll probably give you an invite. The second option is to join Discord communities like the Vazirix community and interact with the people, share your story, share some work and someone might give you an invite. The third option is to join live sessions like Discord sessions, Twitter spaces, clubhouse rooms. So on these live sessions, people will invite you to speak. Use that opportunity to talk about yourself, what type of art you create and then tell you are looking for an invite. Now you must be thinking that you don't have a Twitter, Discord or clubhouse account. But all these platforms are free to join. I'll suggest creating an account and getting into communities like NFT Udgam, COI NFT, CSS club. These are the few examples that I started with. Once you follow some people and interact with them, you will slowly find more people and more communities. Now this is a bit of self promotion but you can even follow me on Twitter because I follow these communities and I do share their work. So you might find something valuable in there. Also. You can even not follow me but go through my profile and you will find some people and communities which might be helpful to you. Now there are some things that you must not do to get an invite. These are texting random creators and asking for invites. Most of these people will ignore you and some might even block you. Commenting on this video is also not the correct way to ask for invites. Keep in mind not everyone will be willing to give you an invite because if you mint something against the community guidelines, you as well as the inviter both have to face the consequences of it. So it's scary for us creators also to share their invites randomly. Also if you are enjoying the video till now, hit the like and subscribe to the channel. That will be it for the invites part. Now let's talk about the UI and other changes. First of all, creators can now choose between WRX and BNB to sell their NFTs. There's no big difference in selling on either but if you sell in WRX, you will have to swap it to BNB for future mints while if you mint on the BNB directly, you can use it for future mints. I asked on Twitter what collectors prefer and here are the results so you can decide for yourself. One thing to note is, 1 BNB is approximately equal to 434 WRX as of recording of this video. So don't go crazy with pricing stuff in BNB. Next is the new UI. I'll show you a live example of the new minting process and the part which most creators are confused about. So here I am on the platform and as you can see there's a new collections feature. So let's go into collections and create a collection. So a collection refers to a series of images that are somehow related in some sense. So this is a collection of hands. So I named it hands, added a profile image and a cover image and now I'll add some description. Add your Instagram and your Twitter profiles and if you have a website you can add it here. If you have a discord you can add it here. I'll leave it blank for now and click on create. This will take some time and your collection will be created. It will look something like this. Uh, keep in mind the profile picture is a GIF but it will not work on the website. It will be shown as a static image and the banner dimensions I'll give them on the screen right now. 
so when you have a collection you can add things into a collection so let's go to my profile and find images that are supposed to be in this collection so let's start from this one this is supposed to be the first one from the hands collection so i'll click on this three dot here and click on move to collection so it will tell me that because i am not the owner of this token as it's sold already i can only add it to a collection once so if a token is not sold you can change it from one collection to another but if it is sold already you can only add it to a collection once so click on continue search the collection name click on it and now you will have to add a property and value i'll talk about it in depth in some time let's just add it for now i'll similarly add other nfts to this collection and then i'll explain how the properties and values work it's strange to see that this nft is sold but i cannot move it to a collection like i did with the first one so i don't know why this is happening but this is also possible that you cannot move an nft once it's sold to a collection now let's mint a new nft so go to profile and create nft and read these guidelines of what to share and what not to share while minting an nft and then click on proceed to create enter the title of the nft the title in this case will be capture i'll upload the file and add a little description now the steps till now were same as you would mint without a collection but now if you choose a collection you will see that there comes an option for properties and value so a property can be something like if you have i'll show some examples on the screen if you have say four images in a collection and two of them have a red background one of them has a blue background and one of them has a green background so in that case you will add a property of background and the value as red green or blue so you don't need to add the percentage to it but when you mint all four of these the property and value will show up on the collection and the percentage will be calculated automatically like i'll show you in this case so let's add the property type which describes what type of nft is this which can be a static image or an animated image so i'll type in animated and add the property let's add another one which is label so i use the property label which signifies what is the name or the label on the image so it's not necessary if you have many traits but since this image uh, this collection does not have many traits so i'll just use the label property and now i'll just mint it you'll notice that there's no option for price because in the new ui you first have to mint it and then you can list it in a next step and congratulations it's minted now you'll see this button list for sale click on it and here you can actually sell it so you can choose between fixed price and auction i'll do a fixed price for this one now the minting and listing process is pretty straightforward you first have to mint it and then you have to list it and you can see on the screen how it goes now let's go into the collection and see the properties i'll go to the collection and let's open this one so if i go into the properties you'll see that the label is capture so since the label is unique for each of these so it will show that 33.33 percent have this rate if we see the type which is animated you'll see that 66.67 percent have this rate now this should have been a hundred percent but because i messed up and i didn't add a type trait for this one so there are only two nfts with this trait that is this one second one and the third one so that's why it is showing 66 percent instead of a hundred percent so that was it for this video while you wait for the invite you can create some amazing works which will help improve your portfolio and you can even watch these videos on the screen to try out other nft platforms thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one